27 degrees today. No more triple digits. I don't want to say for the year, but for a while around here, uh, we will expect windy conditions this afternoon. We'll track that cold front coming our way for you coming up in just a couple of minutes. Well, this is brand new information coming into our newsroom. Really a disturbing animal cruelty case landing this 29 year old man in jail. He is from Phoenix and as we tell you the story, we need to warn you that the details might be tough to hear. Police say DeCarlos Jones admitted to killing and then decapitating a six month old puppy he shared with his girlfriend. The police report says Jones admitted that he killed the dog apparently got angry when the puppy went to the bathroom in the house. He then decapitated the dog, placing its head on the dining room table while he ate dinner and then left it there for his girlfriend to see because he was angry with her about another man that she was speaking to at work. Jones has been charged with one count of intentional animal cruelty. Well, right now the search is on for the person who stole a piece of art from a popular bar in downtown Phoenix, and it was all caught on camera. It happened at Bitter and Twisted near Central and Jefferson just before closing on Sunday morning. A woman removed a painting from the wall. She tried to hide it under her skirt. That didn't work. Watch her real closely there. You see her? She's trying to pull it off the wall. She eventually just walks away with it with another man. The owner of the bar posted the video on Facebook, letting the thieves know that they have their credit card numbers. And if they don't bring back the painting, they're going to call police. Well, today, the Mesa City Council will start narrowing down applicants to interview. They're filling that vacancy left behind by ousted Councilman Ryan Winkle. The council, you might remember, unanimously voted back on August 31st to remove Winkle, who was a first term councilman. That was after he pleaded guilty to DUI. The council will appoint the new District 3 council member during next week's meeting. Polygamous sec leader Lyle Jeffs has pleaded guilty after being accused of taking part in a food stamp fraud scheme. Jeffs was awaiting trial when he managed to slip out of his ankle monitor back in June of 2016. After nearly a year on the run, he was eventually arrested in South Dakota this summer. He now faces up to five years in prison and one million dollars in fines for restitution. Well, a warning this morning for all drivers out there. Crooks apparently is setting up fake MVD websites to try and steal your personal information. Now, according to ADOT, those sites have bogus links offering services for IDs or titles, even registration. They often appear when you search for 